From the back of a Vespa, you can learn a lot about someone. Darting in and out of traffic through Paris on his red Vespa, it is clear, my driver is fearless. And while few women might recognize his face, his soul, that soul, is now one of the most recognized in the world. I'm impressed. Christian Louboutin. Yes, that Louboutin. The designer behind these sexy, skyscraping, signature red-soled shoes. A staple of sirens from Angelina Jolie to Scarlett Johansson. The pump of powerhouses and pop stars like Jennifer Lopez. I would like a shiny new pair of Louboutin shoes. You know, the ones with the high heels and the red bottoms. Who sings the shoe's praises with her song, La Bouton. Women line up for his sexy shoes outside his Paris store. But he has a very specific customer in mind. So you'd rather have a call girl in here than a, than a woman who lunches? I, I quite like my my customer to be fierce. Yeah, fierce. More, yeah, exactly. A little raunchy. <laughs> exactly. When Labaton isn't practicing his sky-high trapeze routine, so this is the atelier. He's designing sky-high shoes here at his atelier in Paris. Most of things here are custom-made shoes. Custom-made shoes. So this is a custom shoe of some lucky lady. Mm -hmm. He makes no apologies for those sky-high prices. His shoes sell from anywhere from about $500 to $6,000. Today, La Bouton sells more than 600,000 pairs a year. A good shoe is exactly like a good wine. Quality. These shoes are going to stay on the last for a long time. La Bouton started sketching shoes as a teen. Kicked out of school at 16, he spent nights in Paris designing shoes for burlesque showgirls. He launched his own company in 1991. But just three years later, a happy accident. The prototype of a shoe he created had come in, but it seemed to be lacking something. I had a girl working with me trying on the shoes. So when she was not trying on shoes, she sort of had nothing to do. So she was sort of waiting. And so she was doing her nails. So she had this nail polish. And I thought, well, this black has to disappear. So I grabbed her nail polish and painted the sole. With the nail polish. With the nail polish. The famous red sole was born. Today, he says those red soles attract men the way a bull's attracted to a red cape. But the red sole has also attracted something else, copycats. La Bouton is now embroiled in a nasty lawsuit, suing one designer who started painting his soles red to stop. To be copied can be sort of taken as a compliment, but when it's to be really attacked in a way, to feel that, that I do it, not see it as a compliment. A lawyer for UC Laurent said, no designer should monopolize a color. Did you feel that you were monopolizing a color? I do not monopolize a color. I have put a color at a place where nobody has put it. Hermès is monopolizing the orange with the bag, or Tiffany has a blue. But it's your trademark. It is my trademark, absolutely. Mm -hmm. A trademark that's also viewed as a piece of art. This new book details 20 years of designs, page after page of pure shoe porn. And watching women slip on his shoes is a study in psychology. Some women are not completely comfortable with their body. And even if you're not really comfortable with your body, you are comfortable with your feet. The feet always hold up. Six months pregnant, feeling less than glamorous, he proved it to me. <laughs> so this is the lion paw. Hello, lovers. Yes. I think I just lost five pounds in ten years. <laughs> Fabulous. That's high, huh? You would have to have a half a size smaller. Really? Yep. Comfort does not appear to be part of the Le Bouton lexicon. Some stilettos are seven inches high. I don't want these shoes to appear as comfortable shoes. They're it's not meant exactly. to be Birkenstocks. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Okay. With all the respect that I have for With Birkenstock. With all respect for Birkenstock. This is my turn. Sex, he says, is behind most of his designs. One customer commissioned him to make a shoe for his wife with rubies all over the sole. Like that. I said, well, you know, but once you have the weight of the person, you realize that it's going to pop up. He says there won't be any weight. And it, it will only be worn in an horizontal way. You don't have to think of it. In a horizontal way? Is yeah. Okay. These are the shoes that we did first. After my tour of shoe heaven and a Vespa ride through Paris, 
like so many other women, I was convinced La Bouton just might be my soulmate. For Nightline, I'm Sharon Alfonsi in Paris.